So Scott, we've made it down to the beach at Castle Stalker View. This is where we harvest the seaweed for the kelpie that we're going to make this afternoon. Right. So I'm going to ask you to do the honours if you don't mind. Okay. Everyone gets their hands wet first time up here. <laughs> right, okay. Okay, so we've got now, some seaweed. Now, is there two different types that we're looking for here? Two different types of seaweed go into the blend, that's correct. And the, the story behind it is essentially that in the 1850s, um, the seaweed would naturally fertilise the barley. So it would give it this kind of um, sea salty air to it. It's a nice sea breeze across the top of it right. when the brewers brewed with that particular barley. So to replicate that, we now harvest this seaweed and we put it right into the mash tun. And you would think that that would give a, a really odd taste to it, and it doesn't, it really only affects the odour of it. And in the same way as putting salt on a really nice bit of dark chocolate or caramel, right. it brings out the flavour of the dark chocolate, the bitter uh, coffee kind of taste that you get. All right, cool. You want. But that's about enough for a pint, so I think you're going to have to get a bit more, and we'll get a couple of bags and head right. out to the brewery, all right? All right, okay. Mail. Mail seaweed. Aye. Okay. I'm the gaffer today. Okay, fair enough. How much? Just keep well, we'll going just, and I'll tell you when we'll to stop. We'll just declare the seaweed, will we? <laughs> it's is fairly self-replenishing. This is the right stuff, is it? That's the right stuff. That's the name. Seaweed. <laughs> okay, let's get I a couple of bags. I think we've got a, a good haul. Let's go mark some beer and get drunk. 